Ah, the old quality LucasArts logo. Hello, this is Angel. I am the project leader of the TIE Fighter Total Conversion project, and this is going to be the start of a Let's Play series of the Reimagine campaign for TFTC with basically developer commentary. Uh, this is not scripted, I am doing this off the cuff, uh, so there might be some mistakes, uh, weird noises coming from me, uh, and I will try to edit this in the best way possible. But let's shut up for a moment and just watch the intro. Um, Although I will say hopefully soon, within the next few months, we will get the new, brand new intro uh, sequence being made by Ota King. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back after the intro has played out. Admiral Thrawn to launch his tank squadrons immediately. This rebel stronghold has no hope of escape. Commence the attack. Yes, sir. go it took me a week or so to make that animation that was my first ever attempt at a proper sort of animation um, and I wanted to recreate the original TIE Fighter animation intro as best as I could and I'm pretty pleased with how that turned out in the end um, so so this is the main Conqueror screen obviously um, this is the first screen you'll see once you've gone through the cutscenes um, this was designed by our team member UAL002 or UL002 I'm not exactly sure how he's actually supposed to pronounce it but he um, he did a great job with this um, one of the downsides of the concourse screens all of them in fact is that they were limited to 640 by 480 resolution which is why they don't look particularly high definition compared to some of the in-game stuff um, but I think he did a good job with the best that he could um, some of you with an astute eye might actually recognize where this comes from uh, at least uh, sort of the, the skeleton of it, the, the platform, the railings, some of the doors at least. Uh, this was actually a screenshot from a Jedi Fallen Order uh, when Cal uh, is in the sort of prison uh, section. Um, yeah, this was a screenshot from there and then obviously some color correction, we added the doors, added the windows, and then thanks to a hook by our community member Jeremy, we managed to 
change the position of the doors from the standard concourse uh, so we could sort of put stuff where we like. So this is the basic TIE Fighter training. When doing this I decided that um, I wanted to update some of the tutorial missions so people could, well, you know, play the, uh, get to know the game better, or at least brush up on their skills. Um, the original TIE Fighter tutorial missions do some of this, but because there's a difference, there are differences between the TIE Fighter and X-Wing Alliance engine, uh, different keys, um, different mechanics, I decided it would be better to just sort of redo this. So, but uh, rather than redo every single tutorial mission, and there's 28 of them, uh, I decided to pick just four of them. Uh, so the TIE Fighter, the TIE Interceptor, the TIE Bomber, and the Assault Gunboat. And just update them so with uh, new voiceovers, new dialogue, and just to try and teach people uh, the, the way to play the game. It is part of your targeting reticule, and will light up when an enemy is aiming a weapon at you. It's still weird hearing my own voice on these briefings. Um, initially, I, when, I, when I did these briefing voiceovers, I just used my normal voice, with a bit more authority to it. Um, but I kind of decided that just kind of sounded a bit bland, there wasn't much personality to it. And I didn't want to just emulate the original performance of Guy Siner, who did uh, the briefing officer in the original game. And although it would have been lovely to, you know, have Guy Siner reprise the role, that's not possible because I wouldn't be able to afford it, and you probably would say no anyway. Uh, so I try to do this myself as uh, an aspiring voice actor. Uh, so I kind of went with a World War II officer. So, hello there. You know, kind of posh. What you sort of hear on the, the BBC journalists or officers of the time during World War II. Um, I've seen comments both praising and criticising. Uh, the voiceover as expected. Some people like it, other people seem to think I'm an American doing a bad impression of a British accent. Um, well, you know, I, I did the best I could. Um, I'm, I'm generally happy with it. Um, and we'll continue to use it going forward, was reimagined anyway. Finally, you will combine these skills. So this mission is basically a carbon copy of the original first TIE Fighter tutorial mission. Bunch of containers to shoot, bunch of moving targets, then some fighting targets, and then progressively harder and harder enemy waves. You may optionally continue practicing. There are only some minor changes to the mission itself. Um, I had to move the containers further away from the player because of explosion splash damage. Um, if you shoot them from their original position, uh, you will die after the second container explodes because the explosion splash damage will kill your very fragile TIE fighter. So I moved them further away and I changed it so they only spawn after certain parts of the dialogue have completed, just to make sure the players actually listen to what's being taught to them. And then it's pretty much uh, a carbon copy of the original mission uh, going forward from there. Um, it was a little bit difficult to balance this because in fact, it's a little difficult to balance all of the missions uh, because of the way AI behaves in this game. When we first released version 1 of TFTC, uh, this among quite a few other missions, particularly in Classic, were harder than the original because of the AI levels. It was probably pretty much impossible to get past the, the first few waves after the fighter. Um, the actual uh, Z95 that starts attacking you when they start coming in waves of 2, 3, 4 and 5 it becomes progressively harder to kill them and though that's still the case it's definitely uh, a lot easier I think uh, this time not impossible as it was before really depends on your uh, skills and what hardware you have I think front of you target 1 is now in your combat multi-view display or CMD the CMD gives you all the basic information about a target. This includes its current shield and hull strength, distance from you, and its system status. You can also see its current flight orders. Your targeting box should also be green to indicate a good shot. Fire at will to destroy target one. So yeah, I'm kind of taking a page out of the book of more modern games tutorials. Um, you, know, you don't get manuals these days that you can read and go through all the different things. Uh, well, you, you, I suppose you could with a PDF file, but that's not fun to read. Um, so just going through the basics of what you see on your screen, uh, your targeting reticules, the, the command, uh, 
uh, interface showing your target shields hull and all that all that jazz uh, the other two monitors i go into in the next mission because you don't want to overwhelm the player with too much information just teach them the basics how to move how to fire uh, how to check the targets hull shields health uh, overall and just some some basic flying um, i think it's just important not to overwhelm the player with too much information generally Otherwise, it becomes a frustrating experience to, to learn. Uh, I mean, many of the people playing this are going to be people who have played and loved TIE Fighter, so we'll already be familiar with many of the mechanics here. But x uh, Alliance does throw some curveballs at you, I think, a couple of times. And as I said before, there are differences in the engine, notably, for example, having to use one-third of your throttle to turn a lot faster. Something which we removed for Classic, actually. But for reimagined, um, this is what we're just talking about here with the reimagined mechanics. So here, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm very much cheesing this. This is what a lot of people do. You either sit outside the uh, the docking hangar, either in front or from behind. If you sort of fly up at an angle and come up from behind them, you can just. And this is just a turkey shoot. You can just shoot them as they come out, and this is very easy whilst they're coming out like one at a time. Once they start coming out two, three, four at a time, it gets a bit harder to keep them all down. And then by the time they're all coming out at six at a time, you, you really can't just shoot them all down in time uh, before they start splitting off and attacking you. And that's when the challenge actually really starts. But yeah, it's, it's very easy to cheese this mission. Um, once you've killed flight group mover and fighter, mission over, move on to the next one. The platform does not shoot you back, as would normally be the case if you fire on friendly targets, because I told it no lasers, so don't want to uh, overwhelm the player uh, so early on. So here we go, two at a time now. And this is where it starts getting progressively harder and harder. to work harder to keep them all down. You know, I've been working on this mod now for years and it doesn't get old. Dogfighting and shooting these things, it just looks great. This this is a 22 year old engine and it looks modern, not quite to the degree of most uh, AAA games obviously, uh, there's still quite clearly some uh, quirks of the engine, I mean the explosions are much better but they're still clearly just 2D sprites uh, with a set of animation frames but you got to just love what the X-Wing Alliance upgrade team have done, this just looks absolutely gorgeous I mean, if you, if you look at one of the videos I first posted, when I first sort of posted the concept of a reimagined campaign, what, what could TIE Fighter be like um, when I first was working on Battle 1 Mission 2, if, I think it's in 2017, it's an old video, video on my channel, you can see the visual differences, how much the team uh, on the X-Wing Alliance upgrade project have actually improved things incredibly. Uh, in the last two or three years, and part of that's what motivated me to keep pushing forward with doing TFTC. Because who wouldn't want to see TIE Fighter in this visual glory? to shoot me now, it's, it's getting harder. And I'm dead. Yeah. So normally this would be, that's it, the end of the mission. Because you completed your objectives, you'd still actually end up be completing the mission. In the original game, this kind of actually depended on, um, I think, whether you're too close to enemy or, uh, uh, or not. Because you could either come back to a medical facility and be alright, or you'd be captured by the enemy and that's it, you'd have to refly the mission. But that's not the case in X-Wing Alliance. Uh, if you've completed your objectives and you die, that's okay. You, you still win. But for the training missions, uh, the first two four tutorial missions, I decided, because they're 
basically you're in a simulator, you're not actually dying here. And so I've basically given the player lives. You have 20 lives, so you can die 20 times. Um, so you can keep going if you want. Uh, keep fighting, keep trying try to learn the system. Uh, but this feature is only present in the tutorial training missions, uh, the first four. Um, not present in the rest, so if you die in the other missions, yeah, yeah you're gonna have to redo it. But I, I think it helps just uh, the player. Yeah, okay, died, yeah, you learn, keep, keep going, keep trying. And uh, hopefully it makes them a better pilot out of it. And there we go, dead again. And there are, there are a lot more waves after this. I think it starts throwing X-Wings at you after you've killed a few of these uh, six uh, ship waves of uh, Z-95s. I think at least 12 Z-95s start attacking you at one point. It gets very hard to stay alive. And so, yeah, at this point I decided to nope out and say, okay, back to the hangar. Excellent work, pilot. And there we go. First tutorial mission completed. Best get that window looked at. Doesn't look very good structural integrity wise. Well done. You learn quickly and have clearly shown you are capable of engaging enemy craft in combat. Proceed to your next mission. So yeah, this was the first training mission of TFTC Reimagined. You can play this mission obviously in classic as well. Um, there are only some minor differences in dialogue um, to uh, reflect certain changes. For example, in Classic now, there isn't the one-third throttle mechanic, so that's not necessary. Um, but yeah, otherwise, this was the first mission. Um, next time, it'll be the TIE Interceptor training mission. And I will see you lovely people next time. Good hunting.